Hello, my name is Bruce Shaney, and today I'd like to show a classic demonstration of Newton's first law. Now, I have this bowling ball, and it's got a string attached to the top of it, and a second string hanging out the bottom of it. And what I want to do is support it on this metal bar. There we go. And as I hang it down, the first thing I notice is that this string is stretched very, very thin. Now my question is, if I were to pull down on this pencil, what do you think would happen? Obviously one of the strings is going to break, but the question is, which one? So let's see. Okay, top string broke, and that shouldn't come as a surprise. This ball weighs six pounds, it's very heavy. And so it's already applying a lot of force to that top string. I can do this again. And once again, if I pull down on the pencil, the top string breaks. Now I can repeat this all day long, but is there some way that I can actually get that bottom string to break? If the top string breaks, I'm going to buy you a nice cream of lunch. And if this bottom string breaks, you're going to buy a new one. Is that right? So all I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do is pull down on the string and if what? the bottom one breaks, oh. you owe me a nice bit fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did pull it fast. I, I still pulled it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that make a difference? If I take this pencil and I pull it quickly, the bottom string breaks. Now, in some cases, if I'm quick enough, I can even break two strings down here while there's just one string up here supporting it. So I can determine which string breaks just about every time by how I pull it. But why is this? Now we can try a slight variation of this experiment to see what's going a little bit clearer. Once again, I have a brick. It has a lot of mass. And if I take the string and pull it, the brick moves. I can accelerate it slowly because it doesn't need much force. But if I try and pull it quicker, once again, we see the string break because I'm simply trying to accelerate this brick at too high a rate of acceleration. The string simply can't apply that much force so it ends up breaking. Now the idea of inertia is dependent on mass. Uh, it works very nicely with this brick. It has a lot of inertia. What about if we tried something lighter? So here's a styrofoam block. If I try pulling this slowly, it accelerates very easily. And if I try pulling it fast, well, let's see what happens. Oh, try it again. I can pull this as hard as I can or as fast as I can. It simply doesn't have enough mass to have enough inertia to break the string. So when I pull quickly against the mass of this bowling ball, inertia keeps that force from reaching the top string. 